All right, so this is going to simplify your life. Um, and, you know, a lot of people that I've met really struggle with passwords, and you don't have to. Um, one of the most frustrating things for me personally is, you know, if I can't find a password to something, I just feel like it's a waste of time. So LastPass, it's actually free for, um, it didn't used to be free for your mobile, but it is free for your mobile as well. And I'm just gonna click this little uh, GIF icon, it's gonna replay something. When you go to a site like Facebook, there's gonna be a little um, you know, icon in the login box, and you can just click on that and then fill your information. So it kind of shows how it is here. You click on that, and then click that, and you can fill your Facebook information. Now if you have multiple Facebook accounts, it can store those too. Um, so you can just choose which login that you want, which is really important if you um, have different uh, different logins. Also, when I'm going to check out and buy something, you know, I've got my credit cards loaded there, so I just click a button, a different button, uh, fill forms, and it's going to fill out all my credit card information, all my you know billing and shipping information. Um, so it's really easy for me, and I don't waste a lot of time typing. And then uh, lastly, it can generate strong passwords. Okay, and you're not going to need to remember this. There's only one password. You just need to remember your last pass password. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, and there's some digital storage so you can keep, you know, your Wi-Fi password like locked in, like in in kind of digital notes and stuff. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get LastPass uh, free. And we're going to click allow and install. Okay, so now you're logged in and uh, one of the things you can do is log in right, uh, right from here. So here's your 1Password. You just need to remember your 1Password and log in, okay? And with that, um, I'm already logged in. So, uh, you know, if I open up a, a browser here and I can go, uh, so I can search for something. So say I wanted to log into um, Pocket, right? I can just click on that. It's going to take me to the right place and automatically log me in. Okay. So I'm just going to log out again. If I wanted to go to, um, let's say I want to go to deal guardian. I just click on that and it's going to log me in. Just like that. Okay. So I'm going to sign out here. And I'm going to show you a couple other things. So this is my vault, right? Um, so if you want to, now let me, uh, so it'll show you, if you're on a site, it'll show you the matching sites here, right? So if you're on Facebook and your multiple Facebook accounts, it'll show like two or three or however many you have. But I'm just going to delete, uh, well, I'm, I'm just going to click, uh, so you can go here and you can uh, autofill, you can copy the username, you can just copy the password and then, you know, paste it here uh, if you wanted to do that. Um, or you can uh, copy the URL, go right to the URL, um, or you can edit it. So you can see here that, you know, here's the information. Uh, if I click this, it's going to show you the, uh, the password. And then there's a couple of advanced settings. Okay. And in these advanced settings, um, auto login, uh, that's what I was showing you. It usually does that automatically where you, where you log in. But if, you, if there's some site where you don't want it to automatically log into an account, then you can click disable autofill the other really cool thing about this is you can share your password okay so if so I often work with a lot of different virtual outsourcers and I don't like them specifically knowing the password so I can share it click share here and then I can you know uh, just type you know one of my uh, outsourcers uh, names okay um, and then uh, let's let's say I do this one and then I can either allow them to view the password or not right so if I allow them to view the password they could actually see what it is but if I don't click that 
Then when I click share, um, what's going to happen is they can log in with LastPass, but they won't be able to see the password. Okay. Um, and that is great for uh, security. Okay. I'm just going to close this here. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, delete this. Okay. And I'm going to just uh, reload this page. Okay, so now I've deleted it, right? So if you sign up for something um, and then you click log into your account, uh, so that wasn't the right password. This is why I use it, right? Um, and again, this is why I use the <laughs> can't remember the password. Um, so let me show you on a, a different example. Um, I will go to uh, let's see. Okay, so pocket. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to delete my uh, pocket thing so it won't uh, so it won't show up I'm gonna log in okay um, so as you'll see here when I click this there's no sites found for this uh, web address but uh, once I log in what it's gonna do is gonna log me in and then it's gonna pop this up it says add it to LastPass so do I want to add this to LastPass for next time and I'm going to click add. Okay. And that way we're all, uh, we're all set. So now if I'm going to log out and the next time I go back here, it's going to be auto filled and you know, I can just log right in. Okay. Now, if you're signing up for something, um, let's say we're going to sign up with email. Um, I can actually, you know, fill forms, uh, but it's it's recognizing that. Uh, but if you were, if I was on a uh, order page, right? Um, so let's go to Amazon.com and let's go to the cart. Shopping cart is en empty. Let's check out today's deals. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in my cart because I really need that. Okay, um, so I'm a new customer. Uh, you gotta create your account. Um, but basically, when you go to order, um, when you go to order, yeah, it makes you create an account first. So if you go to order and there's a, a credit card form there, you just click fill and it just uh, auto fills. So that would be the uh, the fill forms under here. And this is where it stores your, um, you can store, you know, your, your uh, credit card information and stuff like that. Also, I want to show you generate secure password. So what this will do is you can, um, you know, set however long that you want your, your password to be. Um, you know, if it needs to have those kind of things and uh, avoid ambiguous characters is, is good because, you know, sometimes O's look like zeros and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and then it, you can just generate a password. Okay. You want it uh, 12. Okay. And then generate it. And then you can copy it. Okay. So you can actually save these really obscure passwords and you're not going to need to know uh, to even remember them. So let's check out how it looks on the mobile. All right, so now we're recording the mobile screen and uh, the iPhone, I should say. Um, so here's LastPass on the, um, no, sorry. Uh, here's LastPass on the um, iPhone. Okay, so there's an app there. 
and you can set it up with touch ID right so I'm gonna need to unlock it with touch ID and then boom um, you know I'm in so let's say I wanted to log into um, Animoto so I just start searching that in my vault and I click it and I'll just click launch Okay, so as you see, it's going to fill it in for me and uh, log in, okay, and um, yeah, I haven't done uh, much here, but you can see that I'm in my account, okay, and I didn't need to remember a URL, didn't need to type a whole bunch of stuff, it just logged me right in, right, um, so it's a much better way of uh, surfing the net and, you know, um, If you're going somewhere, it's much easier, right? So if I can... All right, so those are some of the things that I really like about this. I mean, obviously you can go to the vault and uh, you know look at, at some of the different things that, that uh, you have there. Um, but I find it really saves a lot of time because you can get to where you want, you know, without typing in a URL and then a login and then a password and, and all that stuff. Um, so anyhow, anytime I buy something, you know, I will uh, save it. So uh, this is a, a plugin site. I uh, haven't been here in quite some time, but let's see if it's still uh, active. So boom. Um, it's here so I can download my purchase again because uh, everything I do you know I'm gonna save in here um, and uh, yeah it's really really great tool um, you know there is uh, yeah a whole bunch of, of, uh, of different features here but that's kind of the main feature and um, there's also notes um, so you can put secure notes so I have a, a, a you know a router password that I go to um, that took me like you know over at a friend's house and it took a while for them to figure out what their router password was so I just decided oh I'm just gonna keep a note of this you know so when I go back and um, this is a, a family member and uh, you know I'm not gonna you know have to waste like half an hour trying to get connected to the internet and then the form fills um, again this is just stuff you can just click on something fill out the form it'll fill out all your uh, information all your shipping all your credit card information and uh, boom there you go so anyhow um, I hope that that was helpful for you guys and you got something out of this and uh, you know let me know uh, but definitely use LastPass so you're not wasting time um, you know trying to remember passwords and making yourself frustrated all right thanks guys